we will roll up the crochet fabric like this later. In row 3, turn the crochet fabric first. Then we have to make a set of skip 2 stitches, 8 double crochets in next stitch, skip 2 stitches, slip stitch in next stitch for 9 times. Now we start counting stitches. This is the first stitch. A V shape is 1 stitch. Skip 2 stitches here. We start making 8 double crochets in the third stitch. Then run hook, insert hook into the third stitch and pull up one loop. Then round hook and pull through the first two loops. Then round hook, pull through the remaining two loops. This is a double crochet. You need to make eight double crochets in total in the same stitch. Okay, the second one is done. The third one is done. The fourth one. The fifth one. The sixth one. The seventh. Then the last one. Okay, eight double crochets are done. You can count the stitches. Then you have to skip two stitches and make a slip stitch in next stitch. Pull the first loop through the second one. That's a slip stitch. Then skip two stitches and make eight double crochets in the third stitch. Then run hook, insert hook into the third stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn run hook, pull through the first two loops. Yarn run hook again and pull through the remaining two loops. That's a double crochet. Okay, you need to repeat the previous steps to complete the remaining seven double crochets in the same stitch. After completing 8 double crochets, you need to skip 2 stitches and make a slip stitch in next stitch. Okay, that's a slip stitch. Then you need to repeat this set of skip 2 stitches, 8 double crochets in next stitch, skip 2 stitches, slip stitch in next stitch for 7 more times. Okay, a slip stitch. There are three stitches left. Skip two stitches and then make 10 double crochets in the third stitch.
Okay, once completed, finally make a chain stitch. Pull the loop bigger, leaving a long tail. Break yarn and pull out the tail. Then we combine this by wrapping the piece up from the last one that we just crocheted here. So it comes out basically in the shape of a little rose. And then we make some adjustments properly, like this. This is the place where you fold it in half. Then thread the yarn end through the sewing needle.